The Quick Steps feature will take common tasks that require a lot of actions and combine them into a single click. Like you can use one of these pre-built ones when you hover over it. In the pop-up below, it says when you click on this, it'll forward the selected email to your manager. Now Outlook doesn't know who your manager is. You'll have to tweak it, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But let's go ahead and click on the More button, because I want to create one from scratch. So click on Create New, and oh, look at that generic text. How very ordinary. My quick step. Let's go ahead and delete that, because what I want this quick step to do is when I click on it, to change the selected item, or in this case the email, from normal importance, because that's the default, to high importance. So let's call this our high importante quick step. And the default icon is a lightning bolt. You can see in the pop-up, click here to change it. So click here and oh, look at all these icons you can choose from. And I could go with the exclamation point, which is the one that represents high importance, but I can choose whatever I want. Like I'm happy, so I'll choose the happy face and click OK and oh he's happy and then down below choose an action so click on the drop down arrow and all these actions are grouped so you got one for filing like move or copy or delete a message and then for changing status categories well I'll let you peruse through here let me choose one like how about forward when I select that it'll just be like if I came up here and clicked on the forward button so it doesn't make sense for me just to have a quick step that already does what I already have here on the ribbon. So I can come down here and click on show options. So in addition to having it set up to forward, I can actually type in the email address so it always forwards it on to a specific person or group of people. And then down below, it's got the code to bring over the subject from the original message. And I can type in something else that says, please look at this or consider or get back with me on this. Anything else that I want to add to the subject, that will go out every time I click on this quick step. And then if I want to flag it and say, look, it's got to be due today or it's got to be due tomorrow. And the importance, which I'll set up in just a minute of high importance. There's normal and there's low. And then any additional text when you forward this message on to whoever you're forwarding it to. And then if you made a mistake, you're like, uh, I didn't mean to do this. You can go ahead and click on the delete button and go ahead and click on add action. And then so when you add an action, like let's click on the drop down arrow and we want to set the importance and the default's high but if it was supposed to be like normal or low then go ahead and change that so after it sets the action as being high you can add another one saying okay after you click on add action then you'll have to click on the drop down arrow to choose the action and say then go ahead and move this to a folder and then you can choose a folder that you could create over here which we haven't covered yet and say this is my muy importante folder or high importance folder whatever you want to set that up for. So it's pretty cool that the amount of help you can get with a single click. And I want to keep it simple and delete that. And down below, before I click finish, you can choose a shortcut key. Actually, it would be keys. Let me click on the arrow because you can choose one of these like Control Shift F1. Well, that's too many fingers for me. So I'm good not choosing a shortcut key. Then there's the tooltip text. This text will show up when the mouse hovers over the quick steps. So if high importance isn't key enough that you'll remember that, and then if you need a reminder, type in something that's more detailed. This will set the selected message as being of high importance, must take action ASAP as soon as possible. We good to go? Alrighty, click finish, and there's my happy face. Hover over it. There you go, there's the pop-up ASAP. So when I'm ready, go ahead and, well, I got my message selected, so it'll apply to that. And you'll see over here in the column for importance that when I click on it, it marks it as being high. Great. Now, how do I remove it? Well, I don't have one to remove it, so if I want to undo that, I don't get the undo option. I could double-click to open up the message. And on the message tab, expand the tags group. And there it's high. Select normal. Close out, close out, be sure to save it, and the important marker there, the exclamation point, has been removed. Now, if you want to go ahead and make some changes to it, you can right-click on it and edit it. Select Edit, make your changes, add additional actions, delete them, click Save when you're done. Click Cancel. Right-click on it again, see what other options we got, like you can duplicate it. So I suppose if you had maybe 10 actions in this one, and you want to create another one that's very similar to that one, maybe less one action. Instead of adding all those actions again, just go ahead and duplicate it and remove the one action. You can also delete it. You can do a new quick step. You don't have to click on the more button to create a new one. You can manage the quick steps, which we'll cover in just a minute. 
You can even add this gallery to the quick access toolbar. So the gallery means not this particular quick step, but the entire gallery, what you see here. So when I click on that, the lightning bolt, click on that, and there you go. So that way you don't have to be on the home tab. If you're on the folder and you're like, oh, I got to come back up here, click on the home tab to access the quick step. When a lot of the work I do is on the folder tab, no, just stay on the folder tab and click on this and then choose your quick step. So let me go ahead and right click on it and remove that from the quick access toolbar. Go back to the home tab. And then, like I said, you can right click and manage the quick steps. Now, when it comes to managing, that includes the pre built ones plus the one that we created, which allows you within this window to edit it, duplicate it, delete it. As you saw when we right clicked on it, you can also click cancel and click on the more button and manage your quick steps. Brings up the same window. And then you can also click on new and create a new quick step, like a new move to folder or a custom one as we did. You can also move these around so if your high importance, because you can only see three here, is not one of the top ones you want to use, then go ahead and select it and move it down. In fact, the move two is the one that I probably won't be using here, but the two manager, let's move that up. Now, let's go ahead and take one of these pre-built ones. As you can see over here, it'll forward the selected email to your manager and click on edit and then say, well, it's not to my manager, it's to my, the big cheese, the head honcho. In any case, go ahead and choose whatever you like. You can, of course, change the icon. I'm not going to do that. And then forward it to, well, who's the big cheese? Type in their name, Wilberforce, Humphreys, select it, and there you go. Now, you can leave it as is, so you can show additional options. And as I went over, type in any extra text in the subject. So every time you click on this quick step, it forwards it on to Mr. Humphreys, the big cheese, with some additional text that always says, please look over this pronto and the flag, the importance, any additional text that you want to be able to add to it. You can also add carbon copy or you know blind carbon copy to somebody. I'm going to hide that option and just leave it as is, keep it simple. But you can expand it and add whatever option you want. And then down below, for the selected email to your manager, I'm good. Click Save, click OK. So there's the big cheese, apple picking. Mm, he loves apples. Let's go ahead and click on that and boom automatically copies over the text in the subject and the body of the message from the original message and adds Mr. Humphrey's email address to it. And I can go ahead and type in any additional text that I want, click on send, and away it goes. So that way, let me close out. I don't have to come up here with the selected click on forward and then type in his email address. Oh, I just saved a lot of time, didn't I? Cool. Close out of that. We won't save the message. And if you'd like, last but not least, well, you can click on the expandable dialog box button and it brings up the same window. So there's like three ways at least to get to this window that you can reset to the defaults. When you click on that, it resets everything. So what used to be called to the manager, it'll reset that, no longer be big cheese, as well as Mr. Humphrey's email address won't be a part of that, and high importance will be gone as well. So reset, are you sure? Yes, and we're back to where we started. And you can see back to move to, to manager, team email, Everything's been reset. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.